M0FXB, welcome to my channel and if you find the contents helpful, please like and subscribe. M0FXB, right, we're going to link a data device to our Bluetooth on the ID52. So let's go menu, set, let's go, well Bluetooth's at the bottom isn't it? So go Bluetooth, Bluetooth, oh that's just info, go back. Bluetooth on, okay. Then we're gonna go pairing connect and then device search. And then we'll go down to data search. So, and then we've got the Bluetooth is on on our Android phone, which is Android 9. Okay, let's see if it finds it. No device found, so let's try a different system. So we'll go back, back, uh, back. Let's go pairing reception. Waiting for pairing requests, releasing status to external devices. So let's hold this down. Pair new device. See if anything comes up. Right, see that? ICOM 52 appeared on the Android device. So we're gonna select it. And it says pairing. And then it's, look, allow access. Gonna we'll click pair. That's it. Now, do we have to scroll down here? Yeah, we have to go confirm. We scrolled down and went confirm. So in theory, look, currently connected. We have now paired our, um, let's go back. Yeah, the auto connects on. So I think we're paired. Um, there's no Bluetooth emblem showing. But uh, anyway, I think we're paired. 7.3 for now, we're gonna do some further tests. In this next section, we, fired, we downloaded the app ST4001A from um, Google Play, so Android. And then we, what you do, hold down your finger. Actually, first thing is go into settings and do transfer settings and you need to select Bluetooth. You could use IP address, but there's no Wi-Fi in this radio, so we can't. So we have to choose Bluetooth on this radio, but on the 705, you can use Wi-Fi. So we select that and that was okay. Okay, and then to select a photo, you just hold your finger on here and you go photo, photos like so, select one that you like. You know, let's just do a radio one. Let's just hold our fingers down on here. And then it automatically does a crop thing. Okay. It just makes it the right size for sending. And then look, we can just hit the arrow at the top. I think to make sure you can see the arrow. There you go. I know it's a bit bright, but... And then we just click send. Now what, and it will tell you the size, we'll do the 320, 240, and we'll click OK. And it will look, Quest connected. Quest is the name of the Android phone. So transfer picture is complete. That's good. So we're gonna move on to the next stage, but what we'll do first, we'll go menu, we'll do picture, and what should happen is look, it's actually, already automatically populated a picture that we can send. So the next thing is to grab our ICOM 705. Okay, so we've got the 705 now. So what we're gonna do is get this into picture mode. We're gonna go menu, uh, look for the picture mode here, picture mode. Okay, we wanna receive. So let's work out how to send this. So we're, I'm going to tap it. 
So I'm not actually, I can't actually remember how to send. So there's going to be a, that says receive, that says, oh, I know what I'm doing. I'm pushing the screen like it's touch screen. It's not. This is touch screen. <laughs> I'm going to break the screen one day. So I'm going to select it like so. TX picture, picture size, standard quality. So I'm going to select it and then we want to work out how to make it send. Uh, I just realized, how can it send it? We need to be on the same reflector, don't we? Right, so let me get us up both on the, on the same reflector. So what I'll do is, we'll back out of that. I'll just show you what we're doing. We'll back out. We'll connect to a different reflector. So let's go back. Like so. I see we're on open spot there, so I think we'll... I've just changed notes. Right. Sure so that's... Okay. We're on that. I'm going to get us on reflector 12. Give me a minute. Right. We got it working in the end. Once the picture was on there, we had to push... I'll let it finish a minute. You can see how it's sending this picture to the 705. And we're, we did connect, we just connected the reflector um, to reflector 12C. And just in the normal way you do with your Pi Star. I suppose you could do it DV direct, I suppose, or via a repeater. So it's gone via a reflector. Um, okay, so let's just send another picture so we work out how we did that. So we select the picture. Let's go back. If we want to change the picture, we go like so. TX picture. Let's just work out how we can select another picture. So we're going to go hit the quick spec, clear. Yes, we're going to clear it. Okay, then we we'll go back. Now we just want to select another picture. So let's go back. Like so. Right. So there's a, a picture. Let's select this picture now. We'll select it because that was already in the memory. Remember we sent it to the, here using the app. Quality is fine. Okay. So now we want to send it. So we're going to hit quick spec here. T and we're going to go to TX all. And it says we'll transmit remaining blocks because it sends it in blocks. Then we're going to click OK. And look, see the radio is receiving a signal here. You can see it on the scope. And then the picture is being sent from here to here. So let's get them a bit closer together. So that's it. That's picture sending from the ID52 to the ICOM705 and using the RS sorry, the ST4001A app to send the photograph via Wi-Fi or on the uh, 705 and via Bluetooth on the 52. Now, just to show you how I did send the picture via Wi-Fi on the 705, when you fire up picture, just hit this little information thing here and it gives you this IP address. Obviously, you have to make sure you're your Wi-Fi is connected. So my Wi-Fi is connected. Just turn on your Wi-Fi um, and connect to your, you know, to your to your router. So once you've done that, then use the app as well to get the thing on there. So the settings on the app are slightly different. I'll just show you what those settings are. And all you do is just the three dots, transfer settings, and instead of setting Bluetooth for the like we did for the 52 you just select Wi-Fi at the top and it gives you the number, the 192.168, which you can change if you, when you tap it, you can change it. You know, type in the one that shows up when you tap information here. It's, it's gone now because we've disconnected. So you get the idea, 7.3, all the best. M0FXB, welcome to my channel. If you find this helpful, please like and subscribe.